Right, just a quick video today. I want to talk about global locations for NPM and how you can change those global locations. So the global install location and the location where global packages are installed with NPM. Um, this is primarily an issue with Mac OS and Linux when you get into the situation where you have to use sudo for everything. So if you want to change that, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, Windows, it's more of a preference thing, but you can change locations on Windows as well. So we start off by defining a prefix location. On Windows, this is going to be inside C users, whatever your username is, app data roaming. So that's the prefix, starting with that as the base of the paths that we're going to be talking about. On Mac OS or Linux, it's in the user local folder. So this is our base. This is our prefix location. So keep that in mind, whether this is Windows or Mac OS or Linux that you're using, this is the starting point. So this is a saved as a setting inside of uh, the NPM configuration. There's a thing called prefix and it saves this. After we have that, then we're talking about what is the global install location? So where does node itself, the executable, where does that get saved? So on Mac OS or Linux, you take that prefix location. If you add bin node to the end of it, that's the node program right there. And this prefix slash bin, this should be in your path already. So as soon as you install node, this should have been added as part of the install process. So whatever your prefix is plus bin, that's in your path right now, or it should be in your path. If node doesn't run, that's something to look into. On Windows, prefix, and then there's an NPM folder and then node.exe is installed right there. So node and node.exe, that is the actual executable. Everything before that, the prefix bin or prefix npm, that's what's going to be in your path. Now, when you install packages, so this is when I'm doing things like I'm on the command line and I say npm install dash g and whatever the package is. So the thing that you're trying to install, I want to install it globally. So install, or you can write just I, you could say install globally my package. Where does that get saved? By default, what happens is on Mac OS or Linux, the prefix location plus lib and node modules. Inside of there, there'll be a bin folder and it's going to contain all these executables that are the node modules that you're installing. On Windows, prefix, node modules. So Pretty much the same thing, just doesn't have that lib folder in the middle. Now, if you want to change this, what we're going to do is we're going to change this prefix setting. So in your terminal, this is the command that you use, npm config set prefix. So we're telling npm to change its prefix setting to point to a new location. So as an example here, uh, I'm on Mac right now, so this represents my home folder. And inside of there, I guess in uh, Windows, the equivalent of that would be C users username. Inside that folder, that's my home folder. I'm going to create a hidden folder called npm packages. I am now changing where npm is going to install everything. So you can use whatever you want as the location here. You can put anything you want, but we want to make sure that that location is saved inside the path as well. So Windows, you know how to go into the Windows settings, the environment variables, and then you can edit the path variable right there to add whatever this new location is. So this location, you want to make sure that's part of your path. Uh, on Mac OS or Linux, you're going into maybe your Z shell RC file or your bash profile file, and you're going to change the path variable. So you'll have a line that looks like this export path equals. Now this is the new path that I created right here. And in path, you want to add bin to the end of that, because that's really where things are going to be installed is inside that bin folder. And then you append on the end of the path. In Windows, when you're setting up all the different paths, you're using semicolons between them. But on Mac OS or, Li Mac OS or Linux, you're using uh, colons as the separator. So whatever you wrote up here, you need to put that in your path and add bin onto the end of that. And that's it. So this command right here, npm config set prefix, 
with your new location and then make sure that location is in your path. That's what you need to do to change the default location. And by doing that, you're going to avoid all of those issues that force you to use sudo all the time when you're doing stuff with NPM. All right, so a copy of this file with all these notes saved as a code gist. This is a markdown file saved as a code gist down in the description. I hope this saves you some time in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.